Be blessed by the divine. Sri Ram, this is a video for you. What are the benefits of alpha waves in the mind? In an active wakeful mode, the brain works in the beta frequency between 14 cycles per second and 40 cycles per second. In that frequency, the mind is active, aware, it thinks, it listens, it feels all sensations of the body, it also discriminates, it analyzes, it has emotions and it functions according to these emotions. Closer to 14 cycles per second, the brain is calm, the mind is calm. But above 14 cycles per second, up to 20, the mind is in a sort of a research mode, in an analytical mode, in a listening mode, in a, in a reasonably calm but active state. Above 20, up to 30, the mind is in an emotional state and above 31 to 40, the brain is in an agitated mode or in a deep depressed mode or in an angry mode, in a highly um, charged up emotional state of mind is where the brain is found to be operating at a very high frequency. Mad people, for instance, have their brain frequencies above 30 cycles per second, especially on full moon day and new moon day. Above 40, 40 cycles per second, the body cannot withstand the frequency. The life force comes out of the body and death is the result. The objective, therefore, for us as human beings is to reduce the frequency from higher beta to middle beta to lower beta to even to alpha state of the brain. This is called as the subtle state of the mind. Sridham, your actual question was what are the benefits of the subtle state of the mind? So therefore, I have modified your question to give up more appropriate answer. So in the subtle state of the mind, there are even subtler states than the alpha level. So I will talk about that as well. The alpha state of the brain is when the brain functions between 8 and 13 cycles per second. And this is usually called the sleep with dream state or the REM state. This is the state where the mind is calm and peaceful and mind is processing short term memory. The mind is uh, in an introspective mode. The mind is in a peaceful mode. The mind is not influenced by any emotions or disturbances from within it or uh, with any disturbances outside of it. In that state, if you go to sleep, then the use is limited. But during meditation, particularly the Kundalini meditation, where we focus our mind on our own life force, the brain will automatically go down to the subtle levels of frequency. In the Durya Chakra, it remains stable in that frequency. At Agna, it will oscillate between Alpha and Beta. At Sahasrara Durya Crown Chakra, it will remain stable at the Alpha level of the frequency. In that subtle calm, peaceful, stable, alpha level of the mind, the mind begins to observe itself. Introspection begins to happen in that. Reflection begins to happen in that of it, what it has already gone through. For instance, when we sit on introspect during the course of the day, we can reflect upon the happenings of the day, the events of the day and decide whether certain things have caused pain for us or others now or in the future physically or mentally. Decide the negativity about that particular thought and decide what is the superimposable positive thought in that situation and give the power to the positive thought and visualize and associate it with that particular incident or instance or that particular situation so that next time when you are put into the same situation only the positive thoughts come up and prom prompts you to work on it. So this is a powerful visualization and association technique which is 
together called as the superimposition technique and this is possible only when the brain functions at the alpha level of the frequency. There are tons of material available about the alpha level of the frequency. I encourage you to search for that and study about this, especially after the Second World War. There are lots of research done on the alpha level of the frequency. Thank you so much for inspiring me to make this video, Sriram. Below the alpha level is the theta level and the delta level. At the theta level between 4 and 7 cycles per second, you go into a deep sleep state. And in the delta level of frequency, you go into the coma stage. In the Kundalini meditation technique, especially at the higher level, Duriya Theta level, we actually go to the theta level and the delta level, but don't lose awareness. We don't lose awareness. We don't lose consciousness. We remain completely aware, but we remain one with that universal energy field and the cosmic almighty force. I will see you in the next video. Be blessed by the divine.